Well, as is now well-established tradition, a mass shooting quickly provokes calls for aggressive new gun control from Democratic politicians. I believe in the Constitution, but no right is absolute, and common sense measures consistent with the Second Amendment are absolutely acceptable under our laws. In states and communities that have looser and laxer gun laws, there are more gun crimes committed. I have said over and over, I'd rather pass gun safety legislation than win the election. Nathan Behrman is a California radio show host, and he joins us. Nathan, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks, Tucker. So the 1996 Australian example is something that liberals often mention. We said at the top of the show that Dan Pfeiffer, the assistant to President Obama and now a CNN uh, talker, uh, wrote a piece several months ago going around today about how that's a model for this country, um, the gun buyback, which was mandatory, so gun confiscation. So there are hundreds of millions of firearms in the United States. What do you think would happen if liberal dreams came true and federal agents tried to confiscate hundreds of millions of privately yeah. owned weapons in this country? That's not the right approach. And by the way, I don't actually agree with the Australian example. I use Germany, Finland, and Switzerland as the examples, and even Israel for that matter, which is where they have psychological background uh, exams before you're issued the license to have your firearm. Switzerland has half as many firearms as we do, but they have zero school shootings. Why is that? And they even have semi-automatic rifles. So the question becomes, what are we doing to make sure people who shouldn't have firearms don't have firearms? And that is is where we need to be addressing laws. I wonder, Plus, I wonder I mean, though, let's be honest, it's, it's, Tucker. it's interesting. I mean, there are so many, and the Swiss example is a great one. There's a very high percentage of gun ownership there. The government actually encourages people to have weapons at home, as it, in effect, a, a militia. But you have very few mass shootings, and in fact, very little crime. I'm wondering why there are no calls from the left to ask real questions about American culture and does the collapse of family structure millennia old family structures maybe something to do with this or or the fact that you know a quarter of the population's on psychotropic drugs or obvious things why does no liberal ever mention those it's always about taking my firearms away why is that i wonder well, I mean, there is something to be what, to, to what you're saying, but let's let's talk about it from a bigger picture. Then, if you're going to go down that route, w there were significant changes that happened in the '60s, '70s, and '80s, yeah. not just affecting the family, but also in terms of consumption of drugs that are that are actually prescribed by doctors for That's children. That's what I'm saying. We have That's things exactly like social what I'm media. Talking about. I agree completely. Yeah. So, but what's so interesting is all look, and I don't know the answer to this. I'm not a social scientist, but I've lived here almost 50 years, and I've seen how the country has changed. Guns are tools. And you can do with them a lot of different things. They don't shoot themselves. It's silly. I mean, honestly, though, and they've, we've had semi-automatic weapons for both of our lifetimes, and they haven't been misused like this. So why is this this willful blindness to obvious causes and instead blaming the tool? I, that makes me suspicious. Can you see why? Well, well, I, I, I can, but, but I, I want to disagree with you on something. Why would you give somebody, let's say, that doesn't know how to hammer a nail, give them an automatic nail gun, and so they're going to accidentally shoot themselves with that? That's the same idea here with 100-round magazines. Bump stocks are absolutely meaningless and useless things that are just done to circumvent automatic weapons laws. Okay, there but, are common but, sense but things that we can be, do but, but, to okay, minimize the damage, but, 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 Tucker. Minimize it. It's not real. Look, it's not real. There's one crime ever that I'm aware of ever in the United States states in our history that was committed with the bump stock. I don't have any emotional attachment to bump stocks. They're stupid. They destroy your accuracy, whatever. Right. But that's so far from the actual point, which is what's going on to our society that would cause a 19-year-old boy to shoot his former classmates. Why does no one ask that question? And all these cable news demagogues, you know, I care more than you do. But nobody asks the real questions. Why? What is this anyway? Talk about avoidance. Well, I, I know there, there are a couple of dishes. This is actually a very complicated topic. And one yes. of them is we have to change our laws regarding men mental health care and That's getting right. people that you and I have talked about before. And it relates to homelessness that you brought before. I agree. Mental health care is a crisis in this country. But no, but then but then the Republicans want to cut. Uh, the, the Trump budget wants to cut Look, over a trillion dollars out of don't Medicaid make it partisan. and Medicare. So the Democrats we, close the mental hospitals. OK, I, you can have the partisan debate, right. but I just I don't so even care about that. that. I'm a father of four. But, but I care about the country. I want to have a real 
I don't want to right. be infantilized with this dumb crap about, oh, the fact that you have a deer rifle makes me less safe. That's a lie and everyone knows it. Why are young men doing this? Maybe it's, I don't know why, but why, again, why do we not have that conversation? Why are we pretending it's not so, real? But because there's a two-part conversation and you and I, uh, interestingly enough, agree on the mental health problem that we're having. But on the second Obviously. side, until we resolve that, until we resolve that, why make it easy for them to mow down 17 lives in, in moments? Because actually, so I know a lot about this. I don't think that you do. The truth is, you're not oh, I, allowed. I do. I've fired okay. AR-15s the, before, the, Tucker. Uh, no, but the law around it. If you're adjudicated mentally ill, you cannot buy a gun. No one who has been adjudicated mentally ill, to my knowledge, in a mass shooting has been able to buy a gun. The system, as it stands, works. What do you, so, do you see what I'm saying? No, so like, it doesn't. If, if so the teachers is, knew there was a problem with this kid, and, and, and no, our mental health laws are broken. They okay, knew so there was the, something wrong. Teachers know who are the okay, problem, so, and so, we're not empowering them to so do something So it's really about simple. It. Then let's be very specific in a very short amount of time. A teacher notices a kid is weird, possibly menacing. Does that mean get him the help. kid get him counseling? I'm not against that, but does that mean he loses his right to buy a gun as an adult? I mean, what's yes. the answer? And we do need to change. Yes. If a and teacher we thinks you're weird, around. he can take away a constitutional right. I'm not. I'm Once not arguing against it. Once the psychologist or psychiatrist has seen you, yes. So Once if you're the adjudicated mentally ill, that's seen already. And that's already the law, Ethan. That, that's what I don't understand. That's already the law. You should know that, right? So we need There's to bridge the gap. Debate. We need to bridge the gap, Tucker. And in the meantime, what does that mean? I've actually called for Governor Brown here in California to call up the National Guard, station two National Guards people at every single school until we are able to resolve this. Okay, that's just putting a Band-Aid on a, on, a, on a bloody wound. But thank you, Ethan. I appreciate it, and I, I hope we can talk more about this. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Tucker. Former FBI Director.